I thought, thought I'd show you what I've been doing for the last two days. Well, actually, not yesterday. Yesterday was busy tra traveling. But uh, I've got my Canon. I got my Acaso. And I got my Hero 5 Sessions all mounted and uh, in proximity close enough with the two cameras there that uh, I can zero in on the uh, clay uh, in my editing program for my video. I went to uh, the hardware store. I've got a table that I set my stuff on. Let me get my finger out of the way. Um, but those plastic tabletops aren't very good for clamping things on because they have indents and you can never get the damn thing to clamp right. So I got me a board. It's actually a shelf, shelving material. It's a cost me about 14 bucks and I cut off the end of it and I can use part of it for a cutting board. But uh, it's good for rolling clay on and everything like that. And I put my most important tools I'm gonna to be working on, we're using as I'm working on her face. I uh, took two cutting boards, two bamboo cutting boards I was basically not using and uh, I uh, made a 90 degree angle uh, backdrop out of those two things. And I might at some point in the future put fabric on it just to give it a different color. This is how I attached it to the other board. And I'll show you on my Canon. I can zero in on my clay. Let's see, I darken it up a little bit. I can zero in on the clay and it's not going to have distracting background behind it. So that's all good. And then uh, let's turn that off for now. And I've got my Acaso uh, 4K something or another 7000. <laughs> I can't remember the designation on it. So that's my setup. Uh, not going to work on it today. I've spent all day trying to figure out how to set this up so that uh, it'll work fine. Um, I had the Hero 5 attached to this board, but it, it gave me no room to get my arms around to work on uh, her face. And so I had to do this to uh, or figure something else out to attach it to this board here. And... Uh, I'll screw it down on with one screw so I can change the angle of the uh, this camera. I've got this so that I can lift this up and put it down. That's why I did the uh, 90 degree thing too. So, you know, it's got the strength to hold itself up without falling over while I'm working on the clay. Get my finger out of there. So that's my setup. Uh, now I got some noise going on outside. It's a... Uh, Somebody, uh, my one of my neighbors across the street is either running a uh, snowblower or who knows what. Anyway, just uh, aggravating. Not much I can do about it. So anyway, I'm going to work on her face a little bit today. Let's see how far I get. I'm using uh, the mannequin's head, the female mannequin's head, to uh, look at the muscles. Okay. I did take the head off of uh, her shoulders and uh, I mean, off of uh, this uh, jig to see how it looked next to uh, or on her body or next to her body. It looks just fine. The 
hard part is making it look feminine. Okay, I'm going to just put a, this muscle here, going from the cheek down to the corner of the mouth. I'm going to put that on right now. That gives a shape of her face on that part of her body, of her anatomy. Is to make them both the same shape and uh, the cheeks the same width. This is that muscle right here that I'm putting on. <laughs> Needs to be taken down just a little. The key is to try to make it look feminine, and that ain't as easy as it sounds. Do the muscle that goes from the corner of her mouth straight across to her uh, jaw. Her jaw. Well, that's uh, the brief look at my video that I've shot today. Um, like it says up above this uh, head, if you want to see the whole video, you'll have to buy the uh, DVD set, the uh, instructional DVD set on creating a man and a woman to go with the horse that they're sitting on and standing next to. <sighs> This, act, this video was actually two days uh, worth. Uh, the first part uh, was shot last night while some, the guy across the street was plowing his driveway and everybody else's, I think. 
it took about an hour for him to get done and by that time it was just too late at night and too much background noise so anyway, uh, I'm still working on this. I'm trying to get this thing done. Uh, it's probably going to take a month or two to get this uh, DVD set uh, rendered and all the other stuff I have to do. But uh, I'm happy the way it's turning out. I took her head off of the uh, jig that I've got her head in right now and uh, held it up against her body to see if, if I was getting too big uh, on the uh, head. And she's working out just fine. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. And that's uh, going to be it uh, for this today. And uh, I'll continue this uh, next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.